Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, in this week, we will share about our Agra's T40 and T20P uh, batteries. So, as you see now, I have uh, our Agra's T40 batteries. In our last video, we already shared about how to clean the battery ports. So, in this video, we will cover the product introduction and the product specification and uh, what the repair strategy and how do we make a dummy assessment and do the analysis let's get started this is our agrest t40 batteries as you see um, we call the model is most people say 30,000 mAh 30 uh, mAh um, but uh, its name is like a uh, bax 601 30,000 mAh and 52.2 volt uh, yeah, that's its model. So the, the weight is approximately 12 kilogram and you can have a business idea how much you have to pay uh, for the shipping cost if you are buying from another country. So um, the charging. So let's uh, see like um, about like a product specification. You see the 12 gold pins for uh, connecting with the charging port and with the charger as well and also with the drone so that the charging rate is 11.5c and uh, for the for the protection rating is ip54 uh, rating so also also our batteries uh, circuit the circuit board uh, labor protection system is also equipped together so if you say for Agra's T20P battery, what is the main difference is the uh, MAH. The, uh, the, the MAH is already quite different. It's like 13, 13,000 MAH for T20P. And all other specs are the same, like uh, uh, discharging rate, 11.5 Cs, and uh, even battery model. It's, uh, battery model also we call the same bags, uh, 601. And but the weight also different. This one is 12 kg and T20P batteries is 6 kg. So it's half of uh, it the weight. Uh, the next, let's go uh, a diff of our the product's uh, specification. <coughs> As, uh, first, uh, for specification, you need to understand so the the boat is 52.2 and the battery tie is a lithium island and 11.5 c the charging rays so the the what's the main improvement for another compared to other battery motor so is you can use for large temperature rays from minus 5 degree celsius and t you can go 45 degree celsius so in this kind of operation temperature you can use very well of course if you say for the charging temperature, it will be much higher. As we all know, the, the drone and PR draw is very high so that the battery can easily get heated. So you can go up to 60 degrees Celsius. And the next I want to hear uh, highlight for this Agra T40 battery, which drone are compatible for. This Agra T40 battery you can use for T40 drone. Also, you can also use for Agra T20P and Agra T13, our previous model. So, but for T20P battery, you can only use for T20P, not for other drones. No for T13, no for T14, because they are higher payloads. So, uh, the capacity as its name, 30,000 30, mAh, 30. And uh, for T20P is uh, uh, 13, 13, 1000 mAh. But for energy is uh, energy is different for energy for t14 is one pi well 1567 watt and for t20 pro is 4679 watt as well so what about the maximum charging power okay so we need to consider about maximum charging power when we select the generator of course we recommend our d12000 ion generator However, if you want to buy that body generator, you need to you need to know this maximum charging power of T40 battery is 9.5 kilowatts, 9,500 watts, and for T20P is 4,200 watts. 
So you need to make sure your stable output is equal or higher than the, the requirements. <coughs> so uh, for our T uh, D twelve thousand nine generator, it's, it's suitable. You can use for T twenty P T fourteen and T thirteen itself also. So of course for T twenty P alone, if you bind T twenty P uh, uh, battery because T twenty P you can use T fourteen battery, T thirteen battery, and T twenty P battery itself. If you use only T twenty P battery, you can go with the generator D six thousand nine. That's uh, we used before for T twenty and the uh, previous model. Okay, so uh, for the charging time, what about the charging time? We are uh, as we announced our T fourteen battery. You can charge just in nine minutes if you go with the twelve thousand nine generator. However, depend on the elevation or your operation uh, operation area. If you are operating sea level elevation more than like. Um, uh, 1,500 meter. So the charging, the charging time will be a bit longer. Not too much. Maybe another three minutes, four minutes. About like uh, that's why we, I, I would like to mention in the range like nine minutes to twelve minutes. That be uh, more reasonable times. So the same thing like for T20P as well. If you are charging T20P battery with 6,009 generator, the same time like from nine to twelve minutes. Because that uh, we we provide the uh, well, a uh, quick charging system. So, as, yeah, the weight. Also, may, remember about the weight 12 kilogram and T20P is 6 kilogram only. So, you can, you can consider for the shipping fee as well. <coughs> the next for the serial number, as we, I, I show you this, like the serial numbers are here. So, you can see the QR code to know the serial number of your batteries. Because our battery, is a warranty period for T20P, T14 batteries, 1500 charging cycle, or six months, whichever came earlier. So, within the warranty periods, you need to mention the battery serial number too. So, the another way, one you can connect to the drone and you can see on the remote controller as well all the battery details information the same number, serial number, and uh, how is the situation. So of course, uh, for, for normal people, if you don't have a drone, you can check the serial number here and what is the serial number of your battery, then you can talk, communicate to your dealer. If you, if you have your drone, it's much easier. You, can, you just plug in your drone and you can see the battery information, very detailed, how many psychic accounts you already use, and uh, when uh, you start using. So all this information, you can easily check in your remote controller as well. So the next topic, I would like to uh, go with the repair strategies because you can have uh, you have to repair. To uh, to conclude, actually for the batteries, uh, you can do some repair, but uh, no other parts. So what you can do is like uh, the bottom part and the handle or some sticker only because you no know, the battery is a uh, the high explosion uh, material and not other like uh, you remove this screw and repairs uh, we we won't recommend it and also uh, we do not allow you to do that because this is really dangerous item to to open by yourself so if you have like a issue with the, the main board or the battery cell inside because the battery cell you can see from your remote controller which one cell is damaged or the main board you, within the warranty period, you just send back to the factories. If you are a dealer, if you're not, you just also let your dealer uh, send back to the DJM factory and you can also go for their warranty claims. Okay, if, if it's like uh, our, uh, our product error. Okay, so the next uh, most important thing is uh, how we can do the dummy assessment, right? So we need to know about the dummy assessments. I would like to, first of course, uh, for the battery, you can just do the visual check. Just uh, do the visual check and uh, check uh, the, the light stick and come because the only way is the light to communicate with you what is happening with your battery because the light will be blinking. You need to understand which light uh, because we have see like four LED, one, two, three, fours. So depend on these uh, four LED light signal, you can easily understand. 
So you can do the visual check on the light condition, and you if uh, if back in normal you can try if stay have issue. Okay, good. So I mentioned the uh, it have uh, it's showing the the the, the LED are giving you or telling you what's happening with your batteries. So let's have a look. Uh, try to remember uh, slowly. Of course, I will also share. Uh, about this, uh, uh, you know, our, our, our this video, you're gonna come and see all the time. You can pause and check again and again. So first, I would like to mention you normally, this is uh, first we have a power button and we have an LED one, two, three, four. So normally the error started coming with the LED two or three, sometime maybe uh, all together. So if you say LED two, let's say, for example, a little two blinking uh, twice per second. You have to see, okay, one second uh, blinking twice. That means the charging current is too too large. So don't stop charging and uh, don't try to charge continuous. Okay, in this condition, you just communicate to the dealer to return back to the factories. Okay, if already uh, used for a long time, of course, uh, you need to uh, try to write out uh, properly. If you write out the battery, uh, please uh, follow the instruction from your dealer. We already give uh, all instruction to all our dealers. If you are our customer, we will, we will assist you for sure. For the next, let's say an LED2 is battery charging power is too large. An LED3, same. One second, twice. You just, uh, that means you are doing overcharging. So that overcharging causes the battery voltage to be too high. Because the voltage, you, because you see only the percentage. Actually, the percentage mean voltage and amperes. So when the thought LED blinking twice, that means your voltage is getting too high because of overcharge. We always recommend once it is fully charged, all the lights off, you need to remove, uh, you need to unplug your batteries from the chargers, okay? So uh, what about not two times? If it, what if three times from the, that the same like a three, okay, LED three, three times. So in one second, you can see one second, two times or three times. If you say three times, the battery station uh, body is too high. That means it's not about the battery. It is your battery station. If two times, this is batteries. If three times, you have to go and check the battery station. For battery station, we will also have another uh, video. So you can check in our YouTube channel for battery station, uh, what can be the issue, okay? So anyway, it's also from the battery, it can tell about your battery station. So remove and don't charge uh, that battery station anyhow. So all these errors happen, you have to return to the factories. Okay, so, so I mentioned the LED 2, 3, the LED 2, uh, 2 blink, LED 3, 2 blink and 3 blink. What about LED 4, the last one? For LED 4, let's say one second twice. So what does that mean? So it's also a little four, the charging temperature. It's about the temperature is too high. A little four is about the temperature. The, the charging temperature is too high. So what if like uh, not two times, three times for a little fours. Three times for uh, a little fours, uh, it's the, the, the charging temperature is like uh, too low or too high, right? Because for uh, two times, too low, three times is too high. So in this condition, whatever too high or too low, you need to uh, uh, talk to your dealer, you need to inform, and also you can upload the, the, char the charging log if you connect it with, uh, with a drone, okay? That you can easily uh, uh, return, okay? You can easily return to the factory with, if it stay within the warranty periods, okay? So um, the next is what about LED one and four together? Because sometimes not uh, two and threes, Sometimes two and three, sometimes like uh, one and four. If you say one and four, uh, the, the battery cell voltage is getting different too high because usually when they charge, the voltage should be uh, quite similar or the same. If they are, uh, the gap is too high, that, also, uh, is, that is also a problem. What if like a little two and three uh, blinking uh, quickly? So it's not about one second, it's like a blinking quickly. So that is like uh, most people have that error. This is not uh, a big issue. This is just a battery updates uh, failure because our battery also have the, uh, have the firmware, okay? So that one, battery two and three uh, blinking quickly. This is just an update failure. You're trying to uh, connect to 
connect the aircraft firmware updates and then also you if the update uh, you have to try uh, more than three or more three or more times if stay continue fail of course you have to uh, our dealer will the, the dealer will accept you okay for more thing like uh, one and four uh, blinking and uh, two or three or four all the thing you have to uh, return to the factory just trying to remember what happened okay that's uh, I, I just mentioned and here all the points so um, all the LED if you say all the LED blinking this is like a PF mode so they will have more like a charging allow uh, abnormal temperature there are much more issue so that LED cannot uh, mention you when you uh, when you communicate uh, when you charging and you can try to plug in the charger charging station with the remote controller you can see more error so all another error mostly for but the batteries uh, uh, you have to uh, return to the factories because the battery is a high explosion item so this how the how we do the uh, damage uh, assessments for the repair strategy if I conclude you just uh, can repair all, all, all these uh, covers and uh, this uh, handle and the sticker only so for other things you cannot do it yourself and we will not uh, recommend you anyhow when the anything happened that's the reason you can uh, record a short video and you can share with us we will also assist you thank you uh, for today I hope uh, today the videos will help you to understand what's happening with your batteries or Agros T T40 and uh, T20 Pros. So, uh, yes, thank you so much and uh, stay tuned for the next video of the charging station.